Beadle Planning. In this video, we will learn how to create, organize, and share lesson plans using Beadle Planning in Microsoft Teams. Once you have installed Beadle, you may add a Beadle Planning tab to any channel within a team. In this example, Cara is logged into Microsoft Teams and wishes to add Beadle Planning to her 7S Mathematics team. Clicking on the Teams tab, in the navigation bar on the left, Cara first selects her 7S Mathematics team. Then, in the navigation bar on the 7S team canvas, Cara clicks on the plus button. Here, Beadle is shown in the recent list. Alternatively, a search will find it. Cara clicks on Beadle and installs the tab by selecting the radio button next to Planning and clicking on Save. A new canvas opens in the general channel, containing Beadle planning for Cara's 7S mathematics class. A chronological structure is provided by default. In the left-hand pane of the canvas are the lesson plans. Think of these as folders, which may contain the details of each lesson and which may also contain other such folders. The right-hand pane of the canvas shows any files that the selected plan contains. Cara edits the academic year plan by clicking on the ellipsis and selecting Rename. Making changes and clicking Rename to confirm. Note that the indent here indicates the hierarchy of plans, such that the academic year plan contains plans named Term 1 and Term 2. And the plan Term 1 contains plans called Week 1 and Week 2. And the plan Week 1 contains plans called Monday, Tuesday, etc. Cara sees that Week 2 currently contains no plans for any weekdays. To add a new plan to Week 2, Cara clicks on Week 2 and from the ellipsis selects Add New Plan Below, naming it Monday. However, this plan has been created at the same level as the plan Week 1 and Week 2. To move a plan down one level in the hierarchy, Cara clicks and holds on the plan and drags it to the right. A drop-down arrow now appears and we can see that the Monday plan is now within Week 2. Note that a plan can similarly be moved up one level in the hierarchy by dragging it to the left. Alternatively, Cara could click on Add New Plan in the bottom of the left-hand pane of the canvas and drag the new plan to the correct place in the hierarchy. Next, Cara adds files to her first lesson plan by clicking on Add First File within the selected plan. Cara could create a new Word, Excel or PowerPoint file without leaving Beadle. But as she has previously prepared lesson materials, instead she selects Upload and navigates to files saved on her computer. The two uploaded files are now shown and selecting each provides a preview on the canvas. Next, Cara adds the plan to her Beadle calendar, selecting the appropriate date and time. A green circle indicates that the plan has been added to the Beadle calendar, the enclosed number indicating the number of calendar entries linked to this plan. Cara can now see this plan in the Beadle calendar and can also view plans in any other team by clicking show all channels and selecting the required team and channel. Note that the organization of plans does not have to be time-based. For example, in Cara's 7A mathematics class, plans are curriculum-based. At the top level, we see the plan for the whole of the year group. Each topic has its own scheme and each lesson detailed plans. Templates may also be saved 
and are useful for frequently used formulas such as lesson plans. Cara uploads a lesson planning template by clicking on template and adding a file in the same way as before. A copy of this file may in future be added to any plan in this channel. The canvas may be expanded to fill the whole window by clicking here. And the files and preview panes arranged either vertically or horizontally. A vertical arrangement may be more suitable for a large number of files. The files in a plan may be edited without leaving Teams or edited in Word Online or locally. Clicking on the ellipsis provides further options, including to share with students. Cara has asked the students to look at a lesson resource prior to her introductory algebra lesson, so she opts to share this with her class. An icon shows, at a glance, which resources are shared. Logging into Teams as a student in the same class, the shared lesson resource is available through both the planning tab and the calendar tab. Files can be quickly moved between different plans by dragging and dropping. Cara is teaching the same algebra curriculum to both her 7A and 7S mathematics classes and decides to copy all of the plans across from her 7A team to her 7S team. By first selecting the level at which to copy, then from the ellipsis menu selecting copy and navigating to the team, channel and plan where the copy is required. Note that the destination team and channel appear in the left hand pane of the dialog box whereas the destination plan appears in the right hand pane. Cara has already created a plan called Year 7 Mathematics in her 7S team where she now places the copy. Going to the 7S team we see the copy which contains all the subplans and corresponding files. Cara also wishes to share the plan outside of Teams and so this time clicks on Download. This creates a zip file on her computer containing files and folders replicating exactly the structure of the plans in Beedle. A powerful search feature allows Cara to find all resources within the scheme that mentions substitution for example. In the main toolbar is a Beedle icon, which provides Cara with an overview of the plans for all of her classes and all Beedle calendar entries. This provides faster access to Beedle, alleviating the clicks required to move between different teams. The same search feature is also available here, providing results across the files contained in all of Cara's plans.